What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, if I looked exhausted, it's because I am. I only threw lashes on today because I'm on my Las Vegas vacation. I made three previous thrift videos, but I've been here for six days, so I'm looking tired. I have been eating unhealthy. I have been indulging. It's been great, but that is my appearance today, so forgive me for that. Um, <laughs> all I could muster up is the energy to go shopping and put on my eyelashes, so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, one of you amazing sweet humans on here on YouTube and Instagram follow me and message me some great local thrift stores that aren't like the big brand thrift stores, so I think it's like a St. Lutheran or like a, I don't know. Uh, she sent me some and I looked them up assistance league thrift shop and like St. Lutherans. So that's what I'm planning on doing today. Um, I've done a lot of shopping since I've been here so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like ball out or if I'm just gonna try to pick up my favorite 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 things but I figured since it's the last day you get naked in the back. Oh my god you're filming that? <laughs> Rich just tried to change his clothes right there. <laughs> I was gonna get demonetized. <laughs> Let's just go shopping. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen my other previous three thrifts shopping here in Vegas, uh, I should link them right here if you guys want to check out the other ones. We tell them the truth that I left California with a six pack and chiseled ass <laughs> and now I look like this. Just tell them the truth. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's go. All right, you guys, I just had the adventure of a lifetime trying to deal with Apple Maps. Um, they led me astray several times. It was a struggle bus trying to get from our hotel to here and then to drop off Everett at a Starbucks. She gave me directions incorrectly like eight times. <laughs> but we're here. I'm rolling with it. I'm excited to go inside. We are at the Assistance League thrift store. Here's the outside right here. All right, guys, I'm gonna start here in dresses, and it looks like it just goes on to blouses immediately, so <gasps> I'm getting distracted by purses, actually. <gasps> what is this? It's fun. Love the orange sherbet color of this. I wish it was a long sleeve blazer, because I've actually been looking for like a green colored one like this and an orange colored one for quite a while now. I just haven't found the perfect one. Um, and this one's cute because it comes with a skirt set, but I want long sleeve. Here's a pretty little blouse. It's by that brand Cache. I used to love that brand. It looks like it is new with tags. It used to be $115 back in the day, um, but it's really pretty. It's just like a, almost like a lingerie bustier kind of top. Oh, you guys, I've been looking for terry cloth and you guys know I've been loving this green color, like this Kelly green. I really like this. I wish it was full length sleeve though. It's like a three four sleeve. For me too, I would definitely crop it just to make it, I don't know, I feel like it's a little long for me. But I'm sad that it's not full length sleeves because I'm just not a fan of the three four sleeve. Cute little like Kelly Green bag. You guys know I've just been obsessed with Kelly Green, I guess. And I do think that it's pretty cute. It's just from Target and it's eight dollars. But I do like it and I feel like it would go with a lot of outfits and just kind of like spice up a lot of my stuff that I have right now. So I'm gonna think about this one. Oh my god, what is this? Ten dollars. That is fun. I love that. Might be a purse day. Look at this fun groovy little print. I feel like this kind of like print is totally in right now. Just that like psychedelic-y, 60s, funky, 70s kind of thing going on. It's cute, but it's not my size. All right, guys, I just left 
and I did end up finding a few things. They were mostly accessories. Sorry, it is so bright out here. Um, mostly accessories and a swimsuit. So yeah, it was pretty cute. I'll talk to you guys about what I felt like in the car. Hold on. Like I said, I did go through the thrift store pretty quickly. It's not huge, um, but they're pretty well organized. They did have like specialty racks, so stuff that was like a little bit nicer that they definitely priced up quite a bit. Um, but then they also had just plain prices for everything. So like sweaters, all $5, jeans, $5. Um, I like that sometimes and sometimes I don't depending on, I don't know, I guess like what I find. So it wasn't bad. I would say that the prices were similar to the Goodwills in this area as well. Like they are a little bit more expensive. I think that I'm just spoiled because I have so many thrift stores that are like ridiculously cheap, like crazy, crazy affordable. And those thrift stores have ruined me for the like more like expensive price thrift stores or like one of my items was $10, one was $8, one was $5, and then I got a belt for $2. So um, yeah, certain things, like I felt like the belt was a pretty good price and the swimsuit was a pretty good price. The bags were a little bit more expensive than I'm used to paying, but I did end up, I felt like I would regret not getting the things that I got. So I actually saw that there's a Goodwill right around the corner. So we're going to head over there now since I'm here and it only took me like half hour to go through this th store. So let's head on to second location. Here we are. Hope it's good. Kind of cute. Very boho. I already have a bunch of these, so I'm gonna leave it, but cute. I'm starting out in men's long sleeves and like sweaters. I'm hoping for like Harley Davidson motorcycle y stuff, graphic tees, um, anything for Everett, maybe even like flannels or sports teams kind of stuff. I just found this Harley Davidson navy blue long sleeve. I love the graphic on the back. It has the eagle with the Las Vegas, Nevada at the bottom. The only thing is, is that it's kind of stained and it's also $14.99, which I feel like is just like so expensive. Such a bummer. I found a few things in men's. I found this button up shirt right here with like little daisies all over it. It was new with tags. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like a cover up or I'm sure I could style it all sorts of way. I found this uh, sweater, this Obey sweater. I just really liked the graphic on the back. And this is exactly kind of what I was looking for in the men's, kind of like that graphic sweater long sleeve. I also found a brasher long sleeve hoodie and this funny super large cowboys shirt and a few things for Everett. I'm dying off, I gotta go. <laughs> what, look at this dress over at the checkout line. Wow, that's amazing. Now I have to go pick up Everett. I'm literally so tired, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see my under eye bags, but pff, this girl is pooped. Seven days in Vegas is a lot, especially when you go thrifting like every single day. So I will see you guys when I get back home, but I definitely got some really cool things today. Okay, bye. Hey guys, back from the thrift store, here to do the try on. Don't mind my messy house. I didn't clean up and you guys I'm just a real person and I don't have a perfect house and I feel like I always put this like pressure on myself that like everything needs to look nice in the background guess what I got clutter I'm a human I have to remind myself the internet can be so critiquey most people that are overly critiquey are the worst they're the ones that should be critiquing themselves that's all I have to say so I just have to remind myself that I've got clutter I will start off with the first store that we went to. I got both of the bags. Okay, first off, 
I've been having a moment with Kelly Green. Um, this one I think was $8 if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, it's originally from a Target brand, I'm pretty sure. Marona, yes, a Target brand. Number one, it is a little dirty in my opinion. It needs a little wipe down, but all of the like little areas that need to be wiped down, I think will easily come off with like just like a wet wipe or even one of those little magic erasers. Not only am I obsessed with the color of this bag, I'm also really into the size and style. Like I think that the size is realistic for me. It's not overly large, but it's also not tiny. I will say that it reminds me of this bag right here, which I believe is from Balenciaga. I feel like it gives me the same vibes as that one. I also couldn't say no to the boho bag because I feel like it's unique. It was more expensive. This was $10, which I don't normally spend $10 on a thrifted. I feel like that's a little expensive for a thrifted bag, but I can see why it was a little bit more expensive because it is kind of a work of art, you guys. It's like furry. It's got different beading all over it. Uh, it's got tassels. I ban, I B, I B ban. There it is right there. I'm naturally a lot of times really drawn to kind of like hippy dippy boho kind of styles. So I felt like I could definitely get some use out of this one. And again, this one is not overly large or overly small, good size. And it's just like a work of art. So I'm definitely into this one and excited to wear with this with some cute dresses and maybe like black cowboy boots is what I'm seeing in my mind. Sorry about that, my camera just died. As soon as I get to talking, as soon as I get on a roll of talking, my camera always dies. <laughs> Last up was this little bikini right here. It's just a little light blue color. It is a cheeky bottom. So I actually don't realistically know if I'll get much wear out of this because I don't normally wear bottoms so cheeky. But apparently that day I thought I would. <laughs> Here's the top right here. I think what I liked about this one is it is an underwire top and I like that because I need the support. But this one was $5 for the set of two. So I spent around $25 for two bags and the swimsuit, which isn't horrible. I also don't feel like it was a steal. I'm spoiled because I have really affordable thrift stores in my area and so I compare everything to those thrift stores because I can get like 20 items for $25. <laughs> so I'm kind of ruined. And then I went to that Goodwill. I found this little American Eagle hoodie right here. It's tie dye and it has a faint little colors of pink, yellow, and blue. And it's kind of oversized for being a size small. I will say too that this is super soft. It's kind of like a thinner, more like worn in, almost like a vintage feel kind of sweater. And I really like that. I love hoodies. So I felt like this is definitely something that I would get wear out of. And I'm glad I picked it up. I almost put it away, but then at the last second, I was like, you know what? I like that. And I'm pretty sure that green tags were on sale that day. I got a bunch of stuff that day on sale and I wasn't even expecting it. Like she said that I saved like 15 or $18 or something, which was cool. So yeah, found this in the men's section. It is Obey. This is what I was looking for. Things like this or like Harley Davidson and like graphic ETs to pair with like baseball hats and sneakers. $7.99, but I'm pretty sure that it was also half off since it was green. On the back it has this like tigery cat, tiger. It'd be cute with some red accessories. I kind of wish that the big graphic was in the front. A lot of times I feel like they put the cool graphic on the back and I like it when the cool graphic is on the front in the center of the sweater. Like if it was right here, that cat, you know, like that's cute. But when my hair is down, you can't see that as much. I mean, I know this is a men's sweater, but I liked the cat, <laughs> uh, but I'll still wear it. This is fun, casual and yes. Ah, what's happening? Where's that bread? I need help. Oh, phew. I don't need no man. <laughs> I forgot about this. Surprise, it's green. <laughs> here it is, right here in all of its glory. It's a green, I don't know if 
this is meant to be a tank top or if it's meant to be a sweater vest, but I'm gonna wear it as both. I could just wear it with these shorts right here or I could layer sweaters or shirts or this over a dress would be really cute and no explanation on the color. That's what sold it, clearly. Don't know the brand because the brand tag is cut out. But this is so cute. Yeah, and it's a versatile piece because I could wear it in fall when it's still warm, just like this, or I could put it over sweaters and I feel fabulous. I heard that lavender is going to be a big color this fall and winter, so I'll be looking for lavender as well as Kelly Green. And also I've been liking orange, so now that I've got a bunch of the Kelly Green things, I should move on to another color because I think I think I've got enough of the green. <laughs> this is the last thing. I also found it in the men's section. It was $5.99 and it's an LRG sweater. Honestly, the only reason I got this was because it was half off. LRG is one of Everett's very favorite clothing brands. Um, if this was his size, he would love this sweater, but it's a size small. <laughs> it's not his size. But again, this is like a great lounging around the house or I'm cold but want to be casual. Like I probably leave this in my car in case I'm cold. Said it a million times, but I'll say it again for the people that are new. In the spring and summer, I dress much more girly, like little flouncy boho dresses, floral prints, like very feminine in the spring and summer. And then as soon as it hits fall and winter, I dress a little bit more masculine or I lean more masculine. So I like to wear a lot of men's section clothes, baggier pants. I get a little bit more like street style urban, I like to wear more tennis shoes. I feel like it's just more realistic to wear bigger, oversized, warm, baggy clothes. And I just like that better in the winter time because I like to be warm, but also cute. So yeah, I lean a little bit more streetwear and this is definitely like right up my alley for the streetwear men's style. In the fall and winter, I like to be looking like a tomboy. <laughs> I love this. I think that this, this and the green purse, I think were my favorite pieces from that day. But that is it you guys. That is all of the things that I thrifted while I was in Las Vegas. If you guys haven't seen my previous other three videos, I made a total of four videos in Las Vegas thrifting, and it was a good time. I found a lot of cute stuff. All right, I love you. I'll see you guys later. More thrifting's coming though, because I've been thrifting. <laughs> Bye.